Welcome to this week's Killick Explains Finance video. The topic this week, why investors must have a basic grasp of probability and why if they don't, they might make wrong investment choices. I'm going to use premium bonds, which have their place, to demonstrate what I mean. So what is the probability problem? Well, did you know, problem number one, that if you flip a coin nine times and get heads, the probability of getting heads on the tenth throw is 50-50. In other words, these are discrete results. Okay, a more complicated one. Here it is. You are told there is a prize behind one of three doors and nothing behind the other two. So, you pick door one. Your host says, right, I'm opening door three and telling you there's no prize behind it. Do you want to stick or move to door two? Now you might be thinking, it's a 50-50 call. I'll stick with door one. Actually, because you've now got extra information from your host, that's no longer true. For reasons I can explain outside the scope of this video, if you move to door two, your odds of winning increase to two thirds, called the Monty Hall problem. Now, why is that relevant? Well, in a nutshell, because with a product like premium bonds, to some extent, the government's relying on us not to fully understand probabilities. I'll use this product to demonstrate why. So what's the deal? What's on offer? Well, this is a government-backed product. The National Savings and Investment website says, happy days if you buy premium bonds because you are looking at winning a tax-free prize between £25 on a prize draw basis and £1 million every month. Sounds too good to be true, sounds fantastic, and that does draw a lot of people in. So here are some key terms. Minimum investment, £100. Maximum in premium bonds, £50,000. So quite a range of investments there. The monthly prize draw is done by computer, and there's a website you can tap into to see whether you've won or not. Tax-free prizes do indeed range from £25 up to a million, but I'll explain how in just a moment. And the whole thing's backed by the government, and they play on that as a selling point. It's effectively a risk-free investment. So there are the nuts and bolts. Now, as a result, that is the UK's biggest savings product, having attracted to date around 60 billion of investment. But there are some catches. Now, what to expect? The NSI website says, right, this prize system means that on average, you'll make around 1.35% tax-free as an investor in premium bonds. That's dropping to 1.25% from June 2016. Sounds pretty good when you think about the rates available on savings accounts, but there is a catch. As Martin Lewis, money-saving expert, points out, actually the reality is, thanks to probability, you are likely to get a lot less than 1.35 or 1.25%, and your chances of winning the top headline prize of a million, pretty minuscule. Now, why? In a nutshell, it's because the prize distribution is heavily skewed down the bottom end. That's point one. Most of the prizes are 25 pounds only. A handful are 50 pounds, and a tiny number, minuscule number, are above that level. So there's point number one. And point number two is it's all or nothing. You either win a prize or you don't. And chances are you won't. So for, imagine, for example, you put 100 pounds in this year after June. You're thinking I'll earn an interest rate at 1.25% tax-free. Maybe not. Because the reality is when the prizes are drawn, you're going to get nothing or 25 pounds. There's nothing in between. And the reality is at a rate of 1.25%, if you've got 20 people all investing £100, that's £2,000 in total, 1.25% is £25, but only one person is probably going to win a prize. So 19 people go away empty-handed, in all likelihood, a one-person happy days £25 prize. And that's where probability matters when you're trying to understand this headline rate. Now, what about bigger sums? Put £1,000 in, and most people will still win absolutely nothing. That's the reality. And if you invest 50,000, which is the maximum, thinking I'll go for the big jackpot, your chances of winning a million pounds are only around one in 49,000 per draw, which makes it slightly less likely, you could argue, than winning something on a national lottery. Question then is, why do people think it's better than that? Why do people think, actually, the premium bonds, you know, I'm gonna win, I've heard lots of people winning. Well, that's one of the reasons, is that people tend to talk about winning, not losing. So if you've heard someone get a prize, you know someone who's won a prize, that might be enough to bring you in. 
And secondly, we like the idea of a free lunch. We like the idea we could win a million pounds, and we tend to discount in our brains the fact that it's highly improbable. So, in conclusion, am I dismissing premium bonds out of hand? No, because the possibility you might get around 1.35%, 1.25% from June is attractive tax-free to some taxpayers, to some investors, higher rate in particular. I'm not going to deny that. It's government-backed, and it's a bit more exciting than a standard savings product. But on the flip side, whether or not you achieve the published rate is a matter of some complex probability. Don't assume you're going to get 1.35 or 1.25%. Cash accounts and investment accounts are backed by the Financial Services Compensation Scheme anyway, so this government pledge to back premium bonds isn't worth quite as much as you might think. And your odds of winning the top prize are pretty minuscule. Any questions? Editor at killick.com.